Spirituality is what gives us meaning and purpose and connection in life, whether it be to people, to place, to beliefs, to, and to the significant and the sacred. A person's spirituality is about what gets them out of bed in the morning, what gives life meaning and purpose and gives you a reason for wanting to be alive. That's your spirituality. And so spiritual health is about looking after that aspect of a person's personality. The way that I often describe my role is that I'm ear to chew, shoulder to cry, I'm you know, the, the, the deep thoughts and questions that keep them awake, I'm a safe person to unpack that stuff with. You, <laughs> you um, weren't interested in maybe talking to somebody who was a spiritual care counsellor because you didn't know if it was um, going to be too religious for mm. you and within the first meeting you were very, you were very pleased. And Russell was real, I could talk to him like any other person, so that's all I need to know. Thanks Russell. <laughs> we bonded. Yeah, we bonded. <laughs> so that can't have been that long after you showed me through it. Uh, he was in our inpatient unit at the McCalla Centre. We honestly thought and he thought that he'd come in to die. Alex was really tired, I only had a brief conversation with him, but Lila and I had a long conversation sitting outside and at the end of that, um, just had this sense that Alex might be an important person for me to connect with. We found how important it was to start to have a conversation around life and mm. dying and well. grief and just how you were even feeling. It actually started to help us like have, mm. a, have another way of dealing with the medical mm. staff. Mm. We quite often found after a session, like after a chat, we would feel more, we'd feel more at peace and mm. quite often more energised. It's 20 something months that I've been journeying with them. Now that it's sort of getting near the pointy end, I'm, I'm out here most weeks and we just talk. It doesn't have to be something you're just stuck in a bed which I think that is one of the problems. There's a lot of stuck in bed rather than trying to get people back to some of the things they've done, whether it's making a cake or um, whatever, it's there. For me, I, I need to work. So we're on the site of the historic Fiansford paper mill. It's an amazing old heritage building that sits perched high up on the, the raised banks overlooking the Barwon River. And as Alex explained, he bought the place when it was at risk of being converted just into a container distribution site. His determination to preserve that, he's repurposed this as a, an arts precinct. I think there's a sense in which Alex belongs to this place now just to keep achieving has yeah. been important, hasn't it? Yeah. To have a sense of that, even if it's like only 10 minutes in a day, Alex has got an unbelievable tenacity to keep going. Mm. So there's been a couple of times, you we're looking at one of the photos where you've had crutches, wheelchairs. You know, in the, the hall that they use for wedding receptions and that, he, he raised the, the steel lintel on a, on a doorway within a stone wall <laughs> and Oh my goodness, mate, you did that while you're on the palliative care program. That's just incredible. And you'd keep going though, keep getting up mm. and going, and that's that's where all the medical people have helped us. And, yeah, very much so. And to know that you can go through a stage in a, your medical journey or in your palliative care, and it doesn't have to mean the end, to actually make it the fullest that you can coming out mm. of a stage. I feel like Russell's been a calming, yeah, calming, yeah. Influence. I think it's the constant communication, hasn't it been, that's helped us? Yeah, and working together as a team. And I keep saying to different people, I couldn't have done any of this by myself. You, you can't do it yourself. It's too big an area to be able to even just take the emotional side of um, what you go through. We talked about ambition at one point, and the, the nice reflection was that Alex was ambitious, but he wasn't ambitious in the sense that it's normally taken of wanting to advance himself to, you know, climb higher. He was ambitious for other people. He, he wanted to be able to, to do something to list everybody, buying this amazing property to make sure that it's preserved. That's just been such a theme throughout his life. 
there's a paradox in there that by openly acknowledging the reality of death, we're actually better equipped to engage with life. It, it was Alex and Lila you know, naming where things were heading for him and then saying we're going to deal with this in the best way we can that's helped him to continue what's always been a life theme for him of just engaging with life as enthusiastically and deeply and energetically as he possibly can. This is a quote from you Alex, just help as many people as you can and enjoy it, just help people mm. and you'll get more out of it than you give. Mm. The more good you do, the better it's going to be. Mm. It's just so easy to give and you get so much right. enjoyment mm. out of it. I don't know why people don't understand that.